Hello, my name is Vladimir Peransky. Welcome to CAOT 113. Uh, in today's topic, we're going to talk about vectors. What are vectors and how to use vectors correctly in Photoshop? A vector is a line between two points. And the beautiful thing about vectors is vectors can be represent an entire image of black and white lines. And you can upscale vectors to as small as a stamp, it's not smaller, to as large as a letterhead, to as big as a poster board, or to as large as a building, right? All using the same vector drawings. So what is a vector? Let's go ahead and analyze how to create vectors in Photoshop. So right now, we have an open blank screen, except uh, basically the title of the actual uh, assignment that we're gonna do. And this is the uh, chapter eight in our book, which is Adobe Photoshop uh, CC uh, 2019 release, right? And this is before chapter eight. This is just a chapter on explaining what is a vector. So let's go ahead and use a pen tool, which creates vectors. And we're going to create a point. A point, you see the dark blue square, that's the point. The handles that I'm dragging are basically the ins and outs of a vector line that we're gonna be using. So when I create a new point, you'll see a line will appear from one of these points connecting the two points. For instance, here's the point, second point that got created. Notice the line came from one point and went into the other point. Let's go ahead and move the line around. Notice it's only one line that's creating the vector. Let me undo this because what I really wanna do, what I wanna show you is not a shape, but I wanna just do a path right now. And I'm gonna do a path with one point, and I'm gonna do a path with another point. And you'll notice that it's coming out and going in from one point to the other. The point that is selected is dark blue. Now I can drag the handles around and change the location where the point is coming out. See that? Where that little handle is touching this point is the location where the line is gonna be coming out. Look at that, see that? It's coming out from the back, curving, going around. The length of the line shows you the length of this first curve before the inflection, here's the inflection point. Look at that. See a long curve, a short curve. And this is all it's doing is changing this line before the inflection point. Nothing else isn't that much is changing on the screen, right? Now let's go ahead and use another line to create a different inflection point. Right, so there is our vector drawing, right? With two points. So we hit escape. Let me see what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be using the pen tool, there we go. And there is our first vector. If we wanna connect the vector together, we can. We can just, this is, this is the second point that we drew. This is the first, if we go back, notice that little zero that appears at the bottom of my tool. See that zero? Now it's gonna be connected. So we have two points connected by two lines having four vector handles. Here's the with vector handles. There's one handle, there's two handle. There's three handle, there's four handles. See, four handles controlling four vectors, right? Each one holding down the control key can be manipulated independently. And that gives us a little paisley looking design, right?
select this point. Oh, I deleted the point. I wanted to just select the point. Right? Hold down the control key, selects the individual point. Now hold down the control key again. You can move the point around. Gives you this nice little Paisley design, right? Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and excuse me. Sorry about that. Let's go ahead and delete this point right here. I don't need it. I'm going to go ahead and create a letter S using four points, right? So let's go ahead and create a simple letter S and I'm going to do, instead of a path, I'm going to do a shape, right? I'm going to do a little shape. We still have the path. Notice we went on the layers on the path and we see the path, right? There is no shape yet, so we can delete that one. We still have the path. If you want to rename this and save the path, just give it a name. And from then on, it will be saved in your path folder. You don't have to redraw it, right? So let's go back to our layers. We're going to do a new path. We're going to create a new, uh, a, a, uh, we're going to use a shape to create a curve. So let's go ahead and start the first point of our curve. And this is going to be 10 points green. Let's go ahead and create S looks like this. Let's create two lines and another line. So here's what we have. We have points and we have lines. What we're going to do is use the control key to select the point we want. And I'm going to drag this point down to the bottom. Drag this point, oops, sorry. Drag this point, where's the other point? Control Z. Drag this point to the top. Drag this point to this side. Drag this point to this side, just to touch, just to offset it, right? Now we're gonna create the handles. We're gonna expand the handles to give us that letter S look, right? So we're missing one point. So let's go ahead and connect the line because we're missing one point. There we go. We're going to have to add a point on the line. So let's go ahead and add it. Should we add it? Let me see if we can do away without adding a point. There we go. Right? We need to add a point right in this area. So there's our point. That's the missing point we, we didn't have before. So let me go ahead, position it right here underneath the other one. Use the Alt key. Doesn't look much of a line, right? Let me go ahead and select Come on, give me my pen tool. Hold down the control key, make a selection. Hold down the alt key, move the lines around. There we go. Move this line back to its point. Let's go ahead and move this out like this. Let's go ahead and adjust this line as well. There we go. And there is our little S, right? There's our shape, there's our lines. Let's go ahead and select the pen tool again. Let's go ahead and say it's gonna have 10 pixels for the border and the stroke is going to be 
uh, red or pick a different color if you want. Let's go ahead and pick a blue color if you'd like. And there's a blue line, a blue S with a stroke using vectors. Now, okay, just because we added color to the vector, you'll see the color actually pixelating. The line itself or the vector you see right here does not pixelate. Notice only the color pixelate, right? Because the color is a rasterized image. So the color gets pixelated, but the line, look how sharp the line stays. So we can take this S now and make it as big as a building, right? And it still will look, have the same shape. So let's go ahead and do edit. Let's, we don't need this white background, right? We can go edit, free transform. And now we can do this as big as a building. And this vector graphic will still remain non-pixelated. See how it is? See how modify, see how it modifies? Let's make it even bigger, right? And it's still, when we zoom in, the line, the color changed, the color pixelates, but the line, the vector line that you see right here will never pixelate. No matter how small or how big the image is. I'm just bending the image a little bit on the free transform, right? And the line will never pixelate. There's my image. I'm just bending it out of, sh out of shape, right? Commit and zoom in. And there is a line still there. Anyway, that's been an introduction to vectors. Uh, the, and stay tuned for the full chapter of how to use vectors to select items. Thank you very much and see you online.